So everyone who's been there, he is. He's assumed the position. He's already ready. He's always looked comfortable, you know. And I played him myself. I talked to everyone here. Everyone's looking at Geese Master. He's dangerous. All right, He's dangerous. The guy that qualified out of the last last chance qualifier tournament. Oh yeah, Sparrowgen. A legend. I mean, he it's like really, a, he, they fished him out of the ocean, right? He's oh, a, yeah. a relic, right? What was it? 2007 Evolution Grand yeah. Finals? Yeah. Spiro Jin versus... Uh, Arario. Arario. Eddie versus Jack. He's made it this far without his main character, Eddie. Yeah, of you course, know? but he's doing such a great so job. So well with Paul. And Death fists are, are, are in your nightmares, right? Out know, of nowhere. I feel like yesterday was such a great learning experience for a lot of the players. Not only did it give them that tournament experience, a lot Hell of these yeah. players were learning over time, learning matchups and learning just the character ins and outs. And it, and I mean, you can ask any tournament player anywhere, when have you ever played in nine tournaments in one day? <laughs> Never. Never. Well, that's a first, and uh, we'll see how it works out for Sparrowgen, who's obviously uh, hot off of his win yesterday in the last chance qualifier tournament. Oh, yeah. But, uh, and he feels good, too. I talked to him earlier. He feels great. He's all smiles. Yeah, but the Geese Master, of course, the highest placing American player yeah. at EVO this year. Cannot be ignored. Not just that. Again, he was a killer. Able yeah, to he, he one killed. of Korea's best, one of Japan's Former best. Former EVO champion, Nobi. And, and, Evo, and world champion, yeah, too. Yeah, of course. Okay. Right now, Sparrowjin controlling the life lead. Let's see if Geese Master has anything to no do about it. No throw break on that. And look at the lead. Wow, lucky. Caught him out of that. When drawing first, first blood. blood. Here we go, Sparrowgen. One of the few players here from the East Coast. Wow, getting under that high knee there. Of course, now uh, out and of the punish. Oh wow, what a launch there with the neutral hop kick. Drops the combo. He was going for the new stuff no, though. That doesn't work. I mean, at the very least, should have shown it. Again, punish that. Okay, demo man. Wow, very impressive out the gates for Sparrowgen. Demolition Man, one of the most commonly used moves for him. Oh, yeah. And Death Fist, of course. Yeah, the, the great American mix up there. Demo Man and Death Fist. Yep. Keeping it old school. Oh, what a duck there from Geese Master. Nice presence of mind. Knowing that the second hit is high, because a mix up goes for Step the stomp. Oh. But he was off axis with the fish hook, and he goes right into Rage Art. Yep. Oh, and he's going to go to okay. a combo. He's running up for Okazami. Cross chop. And he was able to eliminate his rage as well. He very, beat him. very clutch stomp there from Eastmaster. Fight. Okay, round four. The whiff punish converts it. What's for breakfast here? Plus oh, frames man. on that. Knock yeah! One plus two. And Eastmaster really turning up the offense right now, fighting back hard. Trying to even up the rounds here. Again, this is the opening match here from Group B. Oh Low block. Can he seal the deal? So close. And he got it. It's going down to final round in game one. And a very poke heavy round there. And Geesemaster able to really chop away at Sparrowgen's defense, able to take that lead. Yeah, it's going to be a slug fest. One, two. Pressure. And Paul is definitely one of those characters you want to have in your corner. Absolutely. If we're going into a slug fest, he has Absolutely. such impact heavy moves. 40%. Oh, in he went one for hit. the punish. Yeah. In one hit, he'll take 40%. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, great. Give stop. me that arm. Shredder kicks. Great stuff. Oh, the second hit whiffs. He's going to have to no, be careful. Oh, my oh. God. He's not shouldering those either. Yeah, no punish. You can't let him get away with death fits like that. Ooh. Oh, now that he's going to keep clean. doing it. Demolition Man, who is going to be Sandra Bullock here. Wow, very nice. And three rounds to two. Yeah. Sparrowgen taking that Close first one. match. Looks stressed. Smiles are Beautiful. gone. And that's well, really what this 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 the last two days has been all about. It's 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 tough on these players. Emotional roller coaster, players. absolutely. Check Ooh. out this replay from earlier. Again, letting him get away with the death is so he got a little bit too happy about it. But there's the demo man and going right into the command grab to seal the deal. Now, in case you don't know, the command grabs are still classic style throw breaks, so you have to see the hand to break the throw while. Normal throws, you know, the classic ones, those are broken with any punch button now. Yep. Making, I mean, it easier to beat that normal mix-up. Yeah. But, of course, making command throws much more valuable. Absolutely. So, the next matchup here, we look at him. Do we have a player cam? Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. Oh, my he is gosh. assuming the position. This is where he gathers all his power. I love the intro. The totem stance. Yeah. I love the intro.
That's how he got where he got at Evo, man. Oh, yeah. No, Nobi is fearing that stance. Chill. I tried to do that to him while I was in Damn, Japan. Damn, Nobi's fearing oh, that stance. You, you did that to Nobi? Yeah. Oh, I got to do that That's probably why he got too. fourth place. Wow. <laughs> all right, all right. Notorious. I like that. All right, here we go. We're taking it to the city. Round one. <clears throat> it's crazy now. Look at all this action and amazing sound engineering design here. We can hear everything. <laughs> yeah. Pushing towards the wall now. Sparrowjin pushing. Oh, nice Demo stuff. man. Very nice. Sweep there, but he's going to get a weird position. Oh, Barely man. clipped him there. No crouch under that high second hit. And you know, that's something that the old school players are really good at. Yeah. Use yeah. of the get up kicks and the wake up. Definitely. Oh, he gets the wall here. This is going to hurt big time. He Shoulder it out. Ouch. That is basically Fang's signature move. 13 oh, yeah. frames. Reach is very far, very, very good, useful move. Oh, he went for the duck Ducks there. Ducks under it, wow, great textbook crouch there. And you notice he slightly readjusts there afterwards. That's just to make the second 4-3-4 four, four, uh, able to happen in the juggle. Okay, nice. here we go, corkscrew, death fist, he's running up. Okazumi steps on him. Oh, oh wow. counter hit! He can kill here. He's gonna kill. Very nice. Wow, Geesemaster really turning things around in game two. You know, maybe he's just trying to say here that first game was a fluke. Or maybe it was a download game. Oh, what Punish. Uh, all right, able to confirm. Both Max hits. wing. Ooh, side steps around that. You and the homing. Hey, Geesemaster, I like his position. He's just staying right out of the jab range. Yeah, definitely. And he's making Sparrow G come to him. Geesemaster has improved so much. And you know he's been a Feng loyalist since the beginning. So those are the most dangerous kinds of players. Oh, yeah, especially in a new game where these guys have been playing their characters for years mm -hmm. and years and years. And I feel like that's going to be something that we see later on today when we see Mr. Naps play. Mm -hmm. Definitely. He's got a lot of knowledge. Despite maybe not having that much access to the game. Oh, yeah. And knowledge. I think we were just talking about this earlier. Mr. Naps knows way more about the game than a lot of the players do. I feel like he might know more than some of the developers. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. I got the game at home and I feel like he knows more than I do about he knows the game. a lot, that's for sure. He's an encyclopedia. If you have a question about Tekken, hit him up on Twitter. <laughs> I'm yeah. kidding, don't do that. But Actually, you can, do it. <laughs> he'll know the answer. All right, again, Geesemaster meditating there in his special stance. Sparrowjin right now in deep thought as well. Let's see if he's battle. able to... Yeah, Sparrowjin. I mean, that was tough. That was three straight Sheesh. rounds. Sheesh. Yeah, the first game was great for Sparrowjin, and man, things turned around. So let's see. I'm, I'm predicting final round. <laughs> we go. All right, in the Dragon's Nest, this is a throwback stage to Tekken 5. I'm a big throwback kind of a girl myself. Oh, I love yeah? throwbacks. You like the retro? Yeah, of course. All right, here I we go. I think it's a, a trait of getting old. And Feng Wei focusing that energy into his fist. Let's see how it's going to turn out here in this final match. I love the way these two play each other. The spacing from Beastmaster is just impressive. Oh, oh man. That does not launch crouching state. Back turn mix-ups, fluid offense from oh, yeah. Master. And you can't, you can't get caught looking at it, because once you get caught looking during headlights, yeah. Bengway's going to get those mix-ups on you. Nice throw break. Big death fist punish. Hey, Spirogen, you know Spirogen, he's a pad player, and he actually lubes up his thumb. He has like some oh, ball, yeah, and really? he lubes up his thumb so he can get maximum death fist. Oh, man. Just a flick of the wrist, Oh, I guess. yeah. He wants those death fists locked and loaded. Oh, oh wow. He I knew. cannot believe he did that. He did it versus I, the he, low. He should get a standing ovation for that. That was impressive. Oh, and he gets a counter, counter hit. Counter hit. Ultimate tackle. And he wants the arm. He's going to get it. Ducking oh. under the high. Spirogen turning it up here. Wow. Two rounds to none in game three. And a lot of these matches going lost Spirogen's way. Yep. And this is hard to do. I'm mounting out of the gates. I mean, after he lost three Shred. straight rounds that last match, he's able to come back here. Geese says, get off me. Okay, backing up, spacing. And you guys notice the weather change here. Raining now. Oh, yeah, I love that. Oh, the, where's the hop kick? It could be Spirogen raining on Geese parade. Spirogen's throw breaks have really been immaculate. Oh my gosh, and again, another unpunished death kiss oh, there. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. my gosh, he's gonna call, have to be call careful. Cops. Dial 9 1. And then oh, wait no. for my cue. I think he's gonna block it. Oh! Never mind. Why did he. And he's Ooh. dead. He did a sweep. Okay, okay, okay. Geese Master, not out yet. It's not over. Oh, he's a master of geese for a reason. Breathe. 
<laughs> All right, gets the Demo wall man. here. Sylvester Stallone. Uh oh, position change. Shredders. I don't care. Oh no, he dropped the opportunity there. Now Geesmaster turning on the offense. Paul, oh, no punish. Breaks the throw. Oh, another good throw break. Get off me. Oh, gets the counter hit back one. That was big. Oh, he's gonna have a punish opportunity. No. Oh, oh, he didn't go for it. Back sway. He's gonna have to be careful here. Oh. Both players in rage now. Red dress. Oh my God, Geesmaster is still alive. I think you cursed us because again we're going to the final, final round. round. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This is it. It's 1-1. One, one. Final round with the delayed hop kick, Spiro Jin. And look, look at, at that damage. damage. Oh my gosh. Is that that was like a three-hit combo. Get off me. And going for the tackle. Shredder. Again. Oh, into oh, the low the option. Low. The wall positioning could be everything here though. Oh, oh the second, second hit. hit. He's gonna get it here. One death fist. Death fist lubed up and ready to go. Wow. Very impressive work there from Spiro Jin. Old school. They fished him out of the ocean and he still got it.